Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Oh, Mr. Speaker I, I apologise. Number nine, first. Question number nine, Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is order. to the Minister of order. Housing. Order. Question, order. question number nine, Jacinda Ardern. My question is to the Minister of Housing and asks how many children and young people are currently homeless as defined by Statistics New Zealand? Speaker. Honourable Dr. Nick Smith. Mr. Speaker, there is no agreed definition of homelessness. And by definition, it is actually difficult to capture this data because the census is collected via people's addresses. A recent analysis, though, by the University of Otago of the 2006 census data identifies 8,500 people under 15 with severely inadequate housing, of which the majority is overcrowding. I note that in the period 2001 to 2006, the number in this group grew significantly. In contrast, this government is investing $320 million on projects 3, 2, 4 and 5 that will reduce overcrowding, which is the biggest group across these numbers. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister, if he is on top of this issue and things really are getting better, why has the Downtown Community Ministry had client numbers double each year since 2008, as has LifeWise in Auckland, who are increasingly seeing young people and children without housing? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I don't have specific information on the data from those specific organisations, but I would note that the number of people on the Housing New Zealand waiting lists was 4,300 in November 2008, and at the moment uh, is not indifferent to that, uh, and that suggests that this is something of another manufactured crisis by members opposite. Supplementary question. Supplementary Just to the Minister. Order, oh, order. The level of noise is making it hard for me to hear the supplementary question. On Jacinda what grounds Ardern. does he believe Housing New Zealand waiting lists are a good measure of homelessness when he cut the lists, changed the criteria and doesn't even consider a boarding house to be homelessness ho for the purposes of Housing New Zealand? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Oh, Mr Speaker, can I firstly address the issue of the definition of homelessness? Now, in the survey the member quotes, it's referred to as severely inadequate housing, 65% of those that are in that definition is in where there are more children or people, adults, in a household uh, than is. And I note that number grew very significantly under the previous government. The second is in respect of do I consider people that are staying, for instance, in cabins or are staying uh, in emergency, staying in emergency accommodation as being uh, homeless? Uh, I, I would give them the definition of being in emergency housing. Order. Order. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. Um, has the Minister of Social Development raised any concerns with him about young people's access to housing, given 90% of young people LifeWise are working with are children who are leaving SIFS care at 17 with nowhere to go? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Oh, my colleague uh, Paula Bennett, we've had extensive discussions, firstly about the specific housing issues in West Auckland, and secondly about the concerns she has around younger people and getting them into better quality housing. And I simply say to members opposite, watch this space about the huge investment, $2.7 billion, a wreck two point seven billion dollars, the biggest investment ever in social housing that's taking place under this government and announced in this year's budget. Question number ten on a oh, supplementary question, Dr Megan Woods. Why more than three years after the first of the Christchurch earthquakes and after his own officials have estimated that there are 7,400 homeless in the city, has he stood, stood by while organisations like the YWCA have a full waiting list and are turning women and children away 
and the Christchurch City Mission have said they are extremely worried about the safety of children and there is not enough happening. Honourable Dr. Nixon. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I do not accept that there are 7,400 people in Christchurch without a roof over their head. That is not true. It is true. It is true that there is a very large housing challenge in Christchurch. That's why we've settled with the insurance company and we're building a new house every single day in Christchurch. That's why we've built four temporary accommodation villages. That's why we've established the Canterbury Earthquake Temporary Accommodation Service. Mr Speaker, I could speak for over half an hour what on what we're doing on housing in Christchurch. No, 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 I can assure the member that that won't be occurring in question time. <laughs> Question number 10, the Honourable Peter Dunn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment.